Hello everyone, welcome to Radiology Case Review Series. In this video, we are going to look at images of a young female patient who presented to the emergency department with right side and neck pain. Clinical team ordered CT soft tissue neck examination for further characterization. On the CT soft tissue neck examination, we can see there is a soft tissue surrounding the right common carotid artery, causing mild narrowing of the common carotid artery distally. Clinical team proceeded with MRI examination for further evaluation of the soft tissue density surrounding the common carotid artery. On the MRI stir images, we can see extensive edema surrounding the common carotid artery. There is an eccentric plaque in the common carotid artery with minimal luminal narrowing. The contralateral side appeared normal. Coronal stir images demonstrate similar findings of extensive inflammatory changes surrounding the common carotid artery. Following administration of intravenous contrast, there was inflammation surrounding the distal common carotid artery. So we are dealing with an young female patient who has soft tissue density surrounding the common carotid artery, which demonstrates stir hyperintensity and post contrast enhancement. Patient's autoimmune profile came back negative. There was mildly elevated CRP and ESR. There was no underlying malignancy or any other systemic disease identified on further workup. Appearances are consistent with TIPIC, which stands for Transient Perivascular Inflammation of the Carotid Artery. It is important to recognize carotidinia is not same as TIPIC. Carotidinia can be due to vascular or non-vascular causes. In fact, to avoid the confusion, the term carotidinia is no longer used. Many case reports with supporting imaging appearances started appearing since 2000s and they noticed that there was a new entity which had perivascular inflammatory changes surrounding the region of carotid bifurcation. Lesser et al. reviewed 47 patients over 10 different centers from 2009 to 2016 and they came up with this new diagnosis of transient perivascular inflammation of carotid artery. They published diagnostic criteria for diagnosis of TIPIC syndrome. On ultrasound, we can see perivascular inflammatory changes surrounding the carotid bifurcation with minimal or no luminal narrowing, no hemodynamic abnormality. Occasionally, we can have soft plaque as we saw in our patient. All these imaging findings should improve on follow-up imaging. And as we saw in our patient, we can have involvement of the distal common carotid artery, carotid bifurcation, or proximal ICA, which will show stir hyperintensity. There can be contrast enhancement of the vessel wall and surrounding soft tissues. On follow-up imaging, if available, these findings should have decreased or resolved. I hope you found this case to be informative. Thanks for your attention.